Which one? I fault the technical people and Minister of Tourism who should come out, whether they are behind this. Because for a person who has known how our girls have been exported as sex uh, 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 slave trades, now being used locally here to generate materials that they are going to market on their websites to earn money while dehumanizing our women generally is unacceptable. Being dehumanized, we are being degraded, we are being abused. How could you substitute human beings, especially women, the daughters and mothers of the nation, to objects like the chimpanzees? I grew up knowing the chimpanzees were the ones that are tourist attractions. But of recent things are changing. A woman to be paraded as a tourist attraction? Oh my. I think Honorable Chiwanda deserves, actually, we say, you must, we are not demanding for an apology. You must apologize for what you've done. Can you imagine someone asking your mother to be used as a tourist attraction? How would you feel if your own mother is being asked to be used as a tourist attraction? We don't mind caviar or whatever you call it. Women are women and must be accorded respect. We came from very far and we are still heading where we want to be. And uh, we don't want the minister to start taking us back where we came from. We have fought that battle many years ago. So the minister must resign. I don't see any reason why he should continue to serve. We are not objects. We can't be used as tourist attraction. Uganda is blessed with good rain, good weather, mountains, beautiful other things, animals, many other things. This country is blessed, very many green vegetables everywhere. He could talk about those. Why is he zeroing down on women? Does it mean his mind is female-centered? Honorable Minister, if I could get you, I don't 